Semi-program lead Dan Priestley revealed the progress of the semi-factory at Gigafactory Nevada, showcasing the final rendering with semi on top and many semi-docking bays lining the outside of the facility. The facility will be completed by year-end, with over 500,000 Tesla semis produced concurrently. In addition, the factory will provide a completely new generation of Tesla Semi with sleeper cab version and apply the latest generation 4680 battery to achieve a range of 500 miles on a single charge and an extremely low operating cost of 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile. So, how special is this new version of Tesla Semi? Anch, when will the Tesla Semi go into mass production? Tesla has a specialty, and that is turning the impossible into merely late. Dan Priestley, senior manager of Tesla's semi program said, we are technologically ready. Now it's time for scaling. Dan Priestley recently released a fresh rendering of Tesla Semi's nearly completed facility at Gigafactory Nevada, as well as a current snapshot of the building site. The rendering prominently features the word semi atop the building and multiple semi-docking bays outside. Indeed, Tesla has begun scaling up Tesla semi-production, with steel and other materials being actively delivered to this facility. This project was initially announced with a $3.6 billion expansion plan. It will add 6,500 full-time employees and 4 million square feet of manufacturing space, significantly boosting Tesla's production capacity. The completion of Tesla's semi-production at Gigafactory Nevada represents a significant milestone in the company's quest to the heavy-duty transportation market. Dan Priestley's announcement about the new facility vividly demonstrates Tesla's spirit of innovation and technological prowess. Elon Musk has announced that Tesla will produce 50,000 Tesla semis per year starting in 2024 with plans to increase that number over time. This is a remarkably ambitious target, considering that the entire United States market for Class 8 semis appears to have annual sales ranging from 200,000 to 300,000 new trucks. This Tesla's aiming is about 2.5 times more than the annual United States market semis. This declaration underscores Tesla's confidence in its ability to scale operations and dominate the industry. The significance of this development extends beyond mere production numbers. The rapid completion of the new factory may also be attributed to another reason. It could be the place where Tesla starts producing the highly anticipated sleeper cab version, which has been heavily marketed recently. The release of this version will address issues related to long-haul heavy-duty trucks and mark a significant shift in industry dynamics. This model promises a greater range directly competing with traditional diesel-powered trucks. The growth in production scale shows the vision and great potential that Tesla Semi has in the present and future. Tesla aims to produce 50,000 Semi trucks annually at its Gigafactory in Nevada. In contrast, Freightliner's parent company has set a more modest target of 2,500 eCascadia units per year by 2024. Volvo has not publicly disclosed specific production targets for the Volvo VNL Electric. In production methods, Tesla renowned for its vertically integrated and innovative production methods. Tesla maintains greater control over its manufacturing process, optimizing production efficiency. The company leverages its expertise in battery and electric motor production and employs advanced manufacturing techniques, such as using cast and structured battery packs, to streamline production. Freightliner and Volvo, as more traditional truck manufacturers. Freightliner and Volvo rely on established production methods that may lack the flexibility and efficiency of Tesla's approach. These companies depend more on external suppliers, which can result in higher production costs and less streamlined processes compared to Tesla's vertically integrated model. About cost advantages, Tesla's vertical integration and focus on cost optimization result in significant cost savings, which can be passed on to customers. By utilizing existing manufacturing facilities and supply chains, Tesla achieves economies of scale, further reducing unit costs as overall production volumes increase. 
Freightliner and Volvo might face higher production costs due to their reliance on external suppliers and conventional manufacturing processes. Being smaller players in the electric truck market compared to Tesla, Freightliner, and Volvo are less likely to achieve similar economies of scale in the near future. How special is the new Tesla Semi version? I mean, the team's done a lot of awesome work and pulled in a lot of the learnings and all of our features from the car side that you know, give us such great real-world efficiency there. And really want to make sure that the, you know, the truck and the trailer have to work together. You know, this is a combination. This is not just the truck. If you optimize one, you actually might disrupt the whole combination. And so we spent a lot of time both and really some next-level engineering to, uh, of everything they had to do there. And you know, it means that we've got a really efficient truck. The new Tesla Semi gets a look for the future. The new Semi factory will start producing the sleeper cab version that Tesla has announced many times before. To keep up with trends and enhance the experience for drivers operating the Tesla Semi, Tesla is upgrading to a much more advanced sleeper cab version. This sleeper cab is the result of taking customer feedback seriously and always listening to driver experiences, ensuring that Tesla's innovations continuously evolve to meet market needs. The new sleeper cab version of the Tesla Semi has officially been put into use with the aim of minimizing driver fatigue. Recent research shows that commercial vehicle accidents are caused by driver fatigue 25% of the time and drowsiness 65% of the time. Therefore, Tesla has prioritized integrating a sleeper cab so drivers can rest after driving continuously for eight hours. This helps maintain peak work efficiency and reduces living costs and accommodation needs for long-haul trips. The design focus of the Tesla Semi has always been on efficiency, driver comfort, and safety in long-haul transport operations. Unlike previous versions of the Tesla Semi, which were primarily designed as day cabs, the 2024 version has been further refined and now includes all the functionalities of a night cab. The Tesla Semi's cabin is designed to be spacious and driver-focused, the cabin is known for its ample headroom and ergonomic layout. The interior space is approximately 3 feet by 7 feet, which is 1.2 times larger than the Freightliner Cascadia and nearly double that of the Volvo VNL. Additionally, the cabin also features a central seating position, dual 15-inch touchscreens, and additional seating for a companion or assistant driver. Through this development, we see the importance of testing and listening to real-world customer feedback. Musk has excelled in this regard. What about you? What improvements would you like to see in the Tesla Semi? Don't hesitate to leave your thoughts in the comments section below this video. We highly value your feedback. Moreover, Tesla has redefined trucking with the aerodynamic design of its Semi, boasting a remarkable drag coefficient of 0.36. This efficiency surpasses the Freightliner Cascadia's drag coefficient of 0.59 and the Volvo VNL 0.52, which illustrates Tesla's commitment to reducing energy consumption and maximizing range. The inclusion of conventional mirrors and door handles ensures that the semi remains practical for drivers, addressing a critical aspect often overlooked in high-tech vehicle designs. This thoughtful blend of innovation and practicality sets the Tesla Semi apart from its competitors. While the Freightliner Cascadia and Volvo VNL are traditional mainstays, their designs haven't embraced the radical aerodynamics seen in the Semi, resulting in higher fuel consumption and reduced efficiency. Tesla's 2024 Semi integrates cutting-edge technology with the latest full self-driving 12.5 software promises unparalleled autonomous driving capabilities, enhancing safety and efficiency on long hauls. This advanced system allows the Semi to navigate complex routes and traffic conditions with precision, surpassing the capabilities of human drivers, and ensuring a competitive edge over traditional trucks, such as the Freightliner Cascadia, uses Diagnostic Link to support engine platforms including DDEC6 through GHG17 and Gen 5, which enables ECU information retrieval and reprogramming. Additionally, Detroit Connect's virtual technician for remote diagnostics on trucks cannot compare to Tesla's full self-driving. 
the implementation of a 48-volt electrical architecture significantly boosts the SEMI's power and energy recovery capabilities, while reducing cable weight by up to 85%. This innovation not only enhances overall vehicle performance, but also improves reliability and reduces maintenance costs. In contrast, competitors like the Freightliner eCascadia and Volvo VNL rely on older, less efficient electrical systems, which hinder their operational efficiency and long-term sustainability. Tesla's decision to use regenerative braking instead of pneumatic braking is a game-changer. Regenerative braking provides faster stopping reflexes, essential for emergency situations, and red light braking, outperforming human capabilities and traditional braking systems. This feature enhances safety, improves energy efficiency by recapturing energy during braking, further extending the vehicle's range. On the other hand, one more important thing is acceleration. With a fully loaded tri-motor configuration, the semi, with loading 82,000 lbs, accelerates from 0 to 60 mph in just 20 seconds, even on a 6% grade. And unloaded, the semi's acceleration is even more impressive, reaching 60 mph in just 5 seconds, three times faster than a typical diesel truck's 15-second benchmark. This rapid acceleration not only enhances operational efficiency, but also translates to safer and more responsive driving, particularly in urban environments and emergency situations. The semi's superior performance is attributed to its advanced electric drivetrain and optimized power management. Unlike its diesel counterparts, which rely on slower, less efficient internal combustion engines, the Tesla Semi leverages instant torque delivery from its electric motors, ensuring quicker acceleration and better performance under load.